What's happening everyone? It's your boy Dilla Destro back with another G.I. Joe Modern Era review. Tonight we're taking a look at the 50th anniversary Cobra Officer female figure. Um, when this figure was first announced at Joe Con, it kind of turned a lot of heads because there were many, many, many customizers on the boards that were making female Cobra Troopers and posting them. And I don't know if Hasbro said, hey, there's a demand we're not meeting or hey, we should, you know, we should do this to capitalize on it or what. Um, but they threw their hat in the ring and they entered the game and gave us a female Cobra Trooper. And I'm assuming that she leads the Saw Vipers and the Bats. And this, this file card reads kind of, kind of funny. Um, so I'll, I'll post this up here for a second, let y'all pause, you know, and read it for all my Joe nerds, if y'all are into that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, feel free to give your thoughts in the comments below. You know, I, I encourage that. It's a, you know, healthy discussion is always welcome. So, all right, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to set those to the side and take a look at the accessories she comes with. So she comes with the Pursuit of Cobra Firefly backpack with some nice blue paint accents on it comes with the two bombs nothing inside nothing inside at all but that you know that's that's fine i mean if you wanted to you could store the dynamite that she comes with on the side of her leg and even her helmet in this because there is plenty of cargo space you know for those of you who are familiar with the pursuit of cobra line so also comes with the bazooka that got issued with the pers i want to say the pursuit of cobra viper um so nothing new there solid black not one paint accent on it which that's i mean that's okay again you know from this scale i think like i said i'm happy to just be getting product um she also comes with the standard issue cobra officer cobra trooper cobra rehashed a billion times rifle but this time they were nice enough to put paint accents on it so that's a plus and they're done uh, I don't know how close it's going to get. They're done fairly well. It's a little spotty, but I mean, that just comes with, you know, painting over a mold with those, you know, fine details in it. So looks good. She comes with a helmet with the officer insignia on it. So well done there. She comes with uh, an explosive that kind of rests on the side of her leg like or pegs in similar to how the retaliation firefly did and then she comes with a pistol with a silencer that you can attach and that's i mean that's pretty run of the mill this this here has been pretty run of the mill since i want to say the pursuit of cobra cobra trooper and then they carried this all, they carry this into various figures. Comes with a knife that stores away into the sheath there. Standard offering for your uh, modern era figure. So, oh, and they come with stands too. So, again, everything you would come to expect from a modern era offering. So, getting into the figure, let's see how close my camera lets us get in before it starts throwing a fit. All right, that's nice. Well, that looks nice on the screen anyway. So I hope it, I hope it comes through just as nice in the video. So great paint applications on the face. I mean, these this is crisp, crisp. Like whoever they had on shift that day knew what they were doing. They knew how to stay in the lines. Um, the Cobra Insignia looks a little crazy here, but that's, I mean, there's no bleed through. It's just how this was. I don't know, tampoed on, tamp tampographed on, or whatever that, however method they use to do this these days. But fairly clean. Um, whoops. I got a little greedy there. Let's see how close we can get in. I don't know, I don't know. I'm starting to lose it right about there. So, I mean, looking at it, looks really clean. I mean, that is crisp. Crisp. And I appreciate that, because, I mean, the 50th run kind of in general had paint issues but you know the belts painted you got the buckle painted you have the 
the leg straps painted black with silver accents that breaks this figure up pretty nice. I like that they put this web gear on. You got paint on the back of the, uh, the arms there. Paint carries through on the back of the straps as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I love this figure. This figure, this is definitely worth troop building. Um, you know, and it's got great range of motion. Literally, this is one of the best articulated figures that I've seen from the line. Um, kind of a bummer that they did not incorporate the the wrist pivot swivel, whatever you want to call that. But that's fine. I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal because you don't. I mean, you don't lose anything. It's just they chose not to do it. So legs on this one. I want to say are just a rehash of the standard Cobra Trooper. So range of motion gets you out to there, which is pretty good actually. Back, it's kind of, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's It bumps up against the, the butt sculpt, which that's fine. Gets a pass. And then for legs, again, this double joint mechanism that they've started including on the legs is phenomenal. And then you actually get pretty good ankle articulation as well. So um, I, I really, really like this figure and what they did here. Um, it's kind of on the fence, like, oh man, you know, another trooper, geez, you know, they're really milking this. But when I got this figure in hand, I was impressed. So, um, take a look here at the, so you get pretty good. Oh, and I didn't even notice the paint in there. Look at that. Things, things that make you go, hmm, as you're walking through a figure. So that is also nice. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope y'all get a good sense of how clean that is. Um, I can't say enough good things about the 50th and how they've stepped up QC this for this round. I'm really appreciative of that. So we will get her all geared up and come back for some final talking points. So here she is geared up. Well, I say geared up, but you see her backpack and the bazooka kind of laying off to the side. Like th this is how I will be displaying this figure, just like this. And do do I think this figure is worth getting? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is probably one of the coolest figures that has been offered in a while. And I, I get it. I mean, how many more troopers are you gonna add? Or how many more times are you gonna reuse those parts? Yes, there are some reused parts on this figure. Um, but the head sculpt I want to say is brand new. Um and you know, I'm, a, I'm an army builder. I'm a true builder. I'll say I will say that with no shame. If I if I go to in, into a store and I see five of what I want on the pegs, chances are I'm buying all five of them, and I I, I got no shame in saying that. Um, but if you see this three pack hanging in a store, I would I would say grab it. If you're in Toys R Us and you got 25 bucks burning a hole in your pocket it's 25 bucks well spent on this pack. I mean, for what you get between this, the Saw Viper and and, and the bat, the updated Herbo Camo uh, bat. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say that this is not 25 bucks well spent. Again, you know, you, you can buy five of these and you'll have 15 awesome figures. You'll have, I mean, heck, you'll have a squad and a little, a little army in and of itself. Um, so yeah, so that's my final thoughts. Uh, you know, tip of the hat to the folks at Hasbro. I appreciate that the team doing G.I. Joe, given their limited media tie-ins, they're limited to a few IDW runs, I believe, right now. I haven't been in the comic game for a while. But they were when I was still uh, reading the books. So you can tell that the folks working on this got a love for the brand they wanted to succeed, but it almost seems like they're 
told, hey, you can do this, but we're going to put an obstacle course up in front of you and we're going to light it on fire and you got to run through it. So, you know, kudos to the team for, you know, keeping the brand alive, keeping product hitting the shelves, even if it is only limited to Toys R Us. And heck, it could be that Toys R Us is the only one that wants to pick it up at this point because, you know, with, with the current political environment and all that, I mean, G.I. Joe really, it's re I can see Hasbro having a tough time trying to figure out, like, where does this fit in? So, but anyway, you know, I'll get off my soapbox and say, yes, I recommend this figure. Um, I recommend this three pack. I think it's a great buy. Um, you know, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please go ahead and give me a, a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing because we're going to start, you know, we're going to start taking a look at all kinds of stuff uh, here in the coming weeks. So, you know, my goal is to just, you know, post, post the several videos in a week, keep them coming. Um, so again, I appreciate you guys supporting me by giving me a like and a subscribe and, uh, you know, till next time, I appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, thanks for your time and take care.